everyone, welcome to Tour Validated. My name is DJ Lance, joined by Chris McCormick, and today we have a very simple video for you. Three simple tips, short game related, on how to improve your short game and lower your score. First place I want to start is greenside bunkers. So big problem area for a lot of us in the amateur world out there. So first thing I want to talk about is it, don't be afraid to vary what it is that you hit out of these greenside bunkers. So I try and simplify it as easy as possible. I try and keep the amount of sand that I take and the tempo and actual swing as consistent as possible mm -hmm. and just simplify this action by changing static loft on the wedge. Objectively, I look at it in essentially three parts. So objective one, just get it out of the bunker. Number two, get it consistently on the green. And once we've gotten fairly good at those first two, once we're out, once we're on consistently, then we'll try and dial it in, get it close. Perfect. So let's dive in there and hit some. Let's see you do it. Starting here with 60 degree, my objective, I try and keep the club face pointed where I want the golf ball to start. So as I set that face, I open my body in relationship to my target, right. and then I'm adjusting my grip. Yep. So if I'm here, creating that nice stable base, digging in, and then making this shot. So ball comes out nice and soft, mm -hmm. hits the green, has a little bit of spin on it, mm -hmm. and wants to just drop and stop, and then release ever so slightly towards the hole. Chris, do you typically manipulate the face of the club prior to hitting the shot? I do. So the way that I approach these greenside bunker shots is not only will I camber the club back, but I'll also open it a little bit in relationship to the target. So I'm opening the body or aligning left of my intended target, pointing the face at the target, and then swinging down those new body lines. Mm -hmm. So I'm really trying to avoid that leading edge getting into the sand early and hitting the shot fat. Mm -hmm. So I'll get steep with the shot, but I'm getting steep with using the effective bounce towards the trailing edge. So the next thing we want to talk about to lower your scores around the greens is utilizing less loft. Now that could be a seven iron, a nine iron, or for me, it's utilizing this hybrid. We've touched on this in a past video. It's a very simple shot to help lower the scores, removes a lot of doubt, a lot of error that can occur. Great shot under pressure. Now we're gonna dive into it. I'm gonna explain how to do it. Most people will grab a hybrid thinking to grab, you just grip it normally and hit this shot. The problem with that is you oftentimes hit the middle of that club face and it rockets. It's so hard to control the distance. So the easiest way I found to kind of uh, defend against that is to stand a little bit closer to the ball, get your hands a little bit more vertical and just choke way down. What that's gonna do is allow you to hit more towards the toe of the club, gets it rolling on top of the fringe, off you go. I've already read this, I know what it does. A little left to right, up the hill, get those hands high. And then from here, we're just hitting it just like a putt. Good tempo. Pin high, couple feet. As you can see from this distance, I'm not gonna scare it too often with a 60. I don't practice enough. This is just a great way to alleviate a lot of errors. It's gonna lower your scores immediately. Another tip we have going on today, something that I found that really helps my putting is a no-brainer stroke. What in the world is a no-brainer stroke? Well, I'm glad you asked. Okay. So, on the putting green, not using any cup, no hole, not putting to a target, okay. I'll set down a line, three or four golf balls. So from there, address the ball, take what I would refer to as your no-brainer stroke, which is the stroke that you make when there is no golf ball. Just that natural stroke that your body wants to make. Okay. This is how I'm gonna calibrate speed of the green and help me work my way around this golf course that I'm not familiar with. Okay. So where those golf balls are, I'll walk toward it. So seven paces here on this putting surface. When it comes to applying to the golf course, something that may be nine, 10 paces, add a little to the no-brainer stroke. Something that potentially four to five paces, take a little away. Makes calibration extremely easy. 